What I would say to someone who's considering being a missionary this year is just to trust God. Um, trust that if he's opened a door for you to be here, that he's okay with you taking that door. Like, he's counting on you to take the door. Um, and if you're worried about, you know, tanking your career or something, know that this is one or two years um, out of your life and you still have a whole life ahead of you to pursue a different career. But right now the culture needs you um, and these kids need you. To someone considering becoming a missionary, I would say do it. <laughs> because in this mission, you grow so much as a person and you also give so much of yourself. So through your gift of self, you learn more about yourself. And so in this mission, you get to love, you get to encounter other people, you get to go beyond yourself, do things that are uncomfortable to you and do it while you are not afraid. Because JP2 says, be not afraid. So go into mission, go live your life and be not afraid. Love every person you encounter and live life to the fullest. Short answer, do it. It'll change your life. Longer answer, it'll teach you who you are, why you matter, and how you can actually change the world. Spoiler, you actually can't do it on your own. That's why you have a team, and God places you together in order to do that. And you also have to allow him to permeate your life on team, in the, in the classroom, and also when you go back home, in order to do that. If you are considering becoming a missionary, this is a mission that will truly change your lives and it'll provide you with the greatest friends and the best opportunities. Um, you will not regret it. Um, I would say that what, I would quote um, St. John Paul II, what he says, uh, to be not afraid. Um, and then something also my former campus director would always tell us um, is to say yes to Jesus. And I actually, carry this little note card around with me that says yes Jesus on it as a reminder to say yes to him in our everyday lives whether it be something little or something as big as like going into mission um, and just saying yes to Jesus can lead to an abundant and fruitful life. If I was to say anything to like to any of you considering mission life there's no better time than to do it right now. I remember having a conversation with my mom and she was giving me all the reasons not to do it. And it was so, oh, I honestly said I was never going to say this publicly. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. But um, <laughs> this is actually what did it. So I, uh, I was, she was going through all the reasons of why not to do it. And I was like, I've already thought about that. I've already thought about that. I've already thought about that. And then she finally got to a point where she was like, I'm a mom. Like, I have kids. I can't just go on mission. And I remember her saying that. And I was going straight into Holy Hour. And I was like, wait. I just graduated college, I just had this internship, I don't really have all the next steps lined out for me yet, I have some things, I have some things in the air, but like honestly once I have a wife, once I have kids, like there's no other opportunity than now than to actually serve in this way, and so you're not going to get this opportunity again, and so if God is calling you to it, if he's drawing, drawing you to it in any way, don't ignore that, and uh, really discern well if this is what he's calling you to, because you'll never get this opportunity again. When you think about being a missionary, it's really easy to say I'm set out to go and save souls and evangelize and preach the gospel and those are all really beautiful things but first and foremost mission is about letting God save us. If we believe for one second that we can be the savior of any single person in the world then we are not cut out to be a missionary. Our call in life is designed by God to bring us closer to him and what an honor it is to be called to be a missionary where he says I'm going to sanctify you, I am going to save you through allowing you to be my witness, allowing you to tell others how much I love them. And that is truly one of the greatest honors of my life, to be able to be called to holiness through the experience of being a Culture Project missionary. If you're considering becoming a missionary, I definitely recommend applying, getting in touch with the Culture Project, going for a discernment weekend. Those things were all so helpful to me. And just really, if you feel that calling in your heart, just pursue it. I would say that the Lord has a plan for you that's better than anything you could ever imagine. And any plan that you're trying to make for yourself, the logistics might not be working out, but God works outside of logistics. He makes miracles happen. And you know, the more that we give the Lord, the more that he multiplies it. So I like to ask myself, what would happen if I gave the Lord everything? How much more could he make out of the little things that I have? If you think about joining the mission of the Culture Project, uh, first thing I would say is die to yourself. Um, because it's not about you, it's not about your preferences, your thoughts, how you're going to change someone's heart. Um, it's about really serving sacrificially for your team, but also 
for the students that you encounter on mission? If you want to be a missionary with the Culture Project, I would just encourage you to let this affect you. Let this like sink in and just transform your entire life. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of like heartbreaking moments on mission. And like instead of running from that or running from like the pain or uncomfortable feelings, like lean into it. Let your heart be broken for, you know, all the students you're going to encounter, all of, you know, the homeless, all of those in crisis pregnancies. Let them affect your life. Somebody who's considering becoming a missionary, um, I think the biggest thing I would say is just to take the leap. Um, the Lord's not going to call you into something and get you, you know, a month or two months in and then just leave you hanging. Um, I mean, I've, you know, only been a part of this for a couple weeks and I've already seen so many blessings in my life. So, yeah, to just take that leap of faith. Yeah, so if you're considering becoming a missionary, I would just be open to follow the Lord. Um, I hadn't been ever considering uh, missionary work until up in my senior year of college, and I was actually reached out, reached out to by the Culture Project um, in early November, and that's what brought me here, so just be open. If you are drawn to our mission, you're something about it you really like, um, I would say apply. Um, I was super um, pleased by how straightforward and um, easy the process was to be able to apply. Uh, if you are considering becoming a missionary, uh, just say yes. It's a radical yes, but you're going to dive deeper into your faith, into yourself, and you're going to learn tons of things and have a great time. It's a radical yes for sure, but... It's a good one, and it will involve some sacrifice, but you will come out a better version of yourself because of it. Um, for someone I would say who's considering becoming a missionary, um, it can be intimidating, but do it. It is so worth it. These messages need to be spread. Truth needs to be told. Just make that jump and do it. It is going to be okay. I would say if you're thinking about it, you should just at least go through the interview process and spend some time with the with one of the teams here and learn more about the community because the community life here is so so rich and amazing you get yeah you'll be spending the whole year living very close with people eating meals with them just sharing your lives with them and yeah just growing in faith striving towards god together and also just going on adventures getting to explore like the u.s like who knows where you'll be getting sent for mission and where you'll get to go to talk and conferences. Just, you'll have the adventure of a lifetime. Um, be aware of your desires and take seriously your desires because they're given to you um, in one way or another by the Lord um, for you to give them right back to Him. So discern your desires, um, be in dialogue with the Lord, and yeah, don't be afraid if you really have a desire to um, this, spread this mission in this way, in this particular way, uh, to leave behind what may be comfortable because um, good news is often uncomfortable sharing, but it's worth it. To someone that's considering becoming a missionary, I would recommend that you start praying the rosary every day and just meditate on each of the mysteries, um, but especially the Annunciation. And let Mary's example of yes and her yes to God be an example of how you can say yes in your own life to his will, whether that's with the Culture Project or wherever he's leading you. Um, and lastly, in the words of the Archangel Gabriel and Pope St. John Paul II, be not afraid. Uh, what message would I have for someone? Um, I would say, go for it. <laughs> um, do it. Uh, it's definitely what little taste I've gotten already of the Culture Project has been awesome. And um, it's definitely an adventure. And it's definitely something worth pursuing.